Hey guys, Alex Machakas here from Machakas Music. I want to make another vlog to share with you guys today to talk about the Klon KTR, an extension or revised edition of the Klon Professional Overdrive of the Klon Centaur. Highly, highly famed overdrive pedal. Um, the other day I talked about using it just to strictly boost your amplifier in a clean boost setting. I wanted to demonstrate what you can get out of the unit with when you use it as a standalone overdrive device. So I am plugged in to my 1952 style Blackguard Telecaster made at Texas Guitar Workshop. I am plugged into my Klon KTR and I am plugged into a 1966 Deluxe Reverb. So let's see what we get. I hope you guys find this video informative. Got my amp on, got my Klon KTR plugged in. I want to show you my amp tone. I got the amplifier set at about four with all the controls halfway up. So all the controls are at noon, meaning I have a pretty flat amplifier. I'm not boosting treble, mids, or bass out of this amplifier. And I got a little bit of reverb. Uh, this is what I got coming through the bridge pickup. <laughs> Digging that sound. It sounds, I'm nailing that Joe Walsh and the James Game Telecaster tone. It's all in that flat pole piece, 50 style pickup. Uh, this happens to be a real deal 1950s flat pole piece in my bridge here. If you can't get anything close to that, I really like Van Zant pickups. I think they make stuff that's really, really close. Um, I've a beat a couple and other telecasters that I think sound identical to this. So if you get, if you want to get a, a modern pickup that sounds the same, that's what I recommend. Um, so let me show a little bit of the overdrive on this unit. I got the overdrive about half the way up and I, I dialed down a little bit of the tone knob. I'm going to show you the shaping you can get with it too, but it's really going to fatten and give me a much more intense distortion. <laughs> when it really is pushing your amp really well with the distortion from the unit itself it sounds really musical it's really nice I, I don't really lose any low end it's just great um, I'm gonna turn up just a hair we're gonna give it a little more level and a little more tone there Let's go to the neck pickup this time Roll up the tone knob a little bit. 
So that's using the Klon as a standalone overdrive device. I really think there's a few other pedals out there that can get close, but if you have the money and you want to wait a little bit, I really recommend calling Bill Finnegan or getting in touch with the dealer so you can buy an actual Klon from the man who invented the circuit. Um, I have seen other people use the J Archer pedal. I think even Jeff Beck is using that now instead of a real Klon on the road um, because if it gets stolen or whatever, he can re easily replace it. Um, I think if you don't want to spend a little extra money, I think that's that's an acceptable choice, but I'm still a fan of buying the real deal. So check out Bill Finnegan, super nice guy. He's happy to answer any questions you have about the Klon. Hope this video helped you guys understand what it's used as an overdrive pedal. Check out MachakasMusic.com for more details on our Tone Talk blogs. Thanks guys. Bye.